Hey guys, this is your Elite Team Beachbody coach, Jen Greenberg, and I'm making this video today to give you some tips and some insight about inviting. Now, how many times have you sent somebody a Facebook message or a text and it goes unanswered and you just figure, well, I guess that person's not interested? Well, I want to give you an example of something that happened in my personal life just recently, and it's not even related to Beachbody. So this is an incident that happened with a company that I have been speaking to that I may be using their services in the future. And so I'm not even already a customer or anything. And they sent me an invitation in the mail. It was a nice, you know, fancy little invitation to an event they were having. I saw it. I was maybe interested, maybe not. I wasn't sure. I just was like, oh, I don't have time to look into this right now. I'll put it aside and look at it later. Well, later never happened. I pretty much forgot about it. I got an email, okay? I opened the email and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember. I just got the invitation for this event. I need to look into it. I need to see if Mike and I are available, um, whatever. Pushed it off to the side, kind of forgot about it again. Well, the event was tonight and um, we did attend and it was only because somebody from that company actually took the time to personally call Mike and I give us five to six minutes of their time to really tell us exactly what was going to be entailed at the event, why we should be there, and just made us feel like they wanted us there. They wanted us to be a part of this event. And because of that personalized invitation, that personalized attention, we totally changed our whole travel plans for today. We were actually in West Virginia this morning, and because of that phone call, we actually changed our whole plan. We left earlier, we got home, and we made it to that event. And I wanna tell you this and encourage you because so many times you may think that somebody is not interested, but really they're just busy. You're busy, I'm busy, everybody is so busy. We get so many messages, emails, Facebook messages, text messages. It's crazy and people just forget we're busy, right? So I want to encourage you to just make sure that you're taking that extra step and giving that extra touch of personalization when you are following up with people that you have invited. Let them know why you want them to be part of your challenge group and let them know that it would be meaningful and that you would be grateful to be a part of their experience in their challenge group that you've invited them to. Trust me. We had every excuse to not make it to this event tonight. I mean, like I said, we had to travel six or seven hours just to get home. We had five minutes to get ready once we got here. We didn't unload the motorhome. The dogs haven't been fed. Mike is sick. The list goes on and on. But because this company took those extra five minutes to give me a call and just tell me they wanted me there. They wanted me to be a part of this event. And that just made all the difference. So I challenge you to go through the list of people that you've been talking to and that you've been inviting and just pick up the phone, call them, say, hey, I want you to be a part of this group. I know you're busy. Maybe you've seen my emails, maybe you haven't, but I want you to know that this is gonna help you because X, Y, Z, and it would mean so much to me if you would join this group. So go for it. Don't leave anything unturned. Make sure that you are following up. And if you have any questions, post below and let me know if this has helped you lock in your success club this month. Remember, one message isn't always going to be enough. Follow up Figure out what kind of communication works best for your potential coach or customer. And I hope this video helps you. If it has, I hope that you share it with your team and let me know that it worked out for you. So have a great night, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.